Hi everyone, today we are going to see what is the purpose of exit criteria in software testing. It is one of the important questions that has been frequently asked in ISTQB certification. If you look at the answers, for example, it is used to define when a test level is completed or to determine when a test has completed or to uh, determine whether a test has passed or to identify whether a whole software system should be retired. So all these answers look similar but it's still confusing, right? So we will see at the end of the session which is the appropriate answer for this particular question. As we all know that in software development lifecycle, there are different phases right from requirement gathering, analysis and design till testing and deployment, there are different phases. So each phase goes through different levels of testing. Like for example, unit testing, component, module testing, system testing, acceptance, alpha, beta, all these testing has to go through um, a exit criteria. So the exit criteria is determine to check whether the test activity has been completed for all these levels so it has to be decided in the planning stage itself and will be covered in the test plan document so as we know that each testing has different test uh, criteria so it will be the um, exit criteria will be different in each type like for example for and beta testing will have different exit criteria so unit testing component all these things will have different exit criteria for every testing level so these are some of the examples of exit criteria to check whether all the test plans have been completed or whether the requirement coverage has been met or whether high severity bugs has been closed or to check if software development activities are completed within the project cost within the project timelines and the high risk that is associated with that or completely tested so these are some of the examples of cr exit criteria so once the criteria is met then we can move forward to release the product as we have seen in the examples so each product has different exit criteria since it has its own high risk areas and since it has own project timelines and the resources all these things uh, mm, will decide what is the exit criteria for that particular project we have come to the end of the session so what would be the answer for this purpose of exit criteria as we have looked mm, into the details of the exit criteria answer a would be appropriate that is to define when a test level is completed is the appropriate answer for the purpose of exit criteria thank you so much for listening please subscribe to our channel we people for to watch more software testing related videos thank you